Kitty, and I'm Chuck Hugh. And I'm Darla Montgomery. Thanks for joining us tonight. We begin with our top story. Does Louisiana give away too many tax exemptions? This afternoon, a special meeting was held by a committee of 14 state legislators to begin looking into it. TV10 Eyewitness News reporter Doug McDermott takes a look at the numbers and shows us how much money the state is missing out on. Year after year, the state of Louisiana is dealing with budget shortfalls, so lawmakers are getting together to find out if the state is handing out too much in tax exemptions. We're going to take a look at the raw data right now and tell you what, it's pretty staggering. We're going to take a look at the two main tax groups here in Louisiana, the first being corporations. The state has the potential to bring in $1.7 billion from those businesses, but they're only bringing in $198 million, a loss of 88% in revenue. Pretty big there. The second group, us, the individuals. The state has the potential to bring in $3.5 billion from us, but they're only bringing in $2.4 billion. Not as much, but still a loss of 32% in revenue. And with services constantly being cut, like health care and higher education, lawmakers want to see if they can do anything to gain some of that lost revenue. We can look at all of these incentives that exist and see if we're actually getting a return on our investment. State Rep. Joel Robido from Lafayette is one of 14 legislators who make up a special committee tasked with determining if the state is losing money from any of over 400 tax credits, rebates, or exemptions for sales, severance, income, and corporate taxes. It may cost the state uh, $100 million, but... Um, we don't lose the business. We don't lose all those jobs. Roberto says in his almost 10 years in office, this is the first time the legislature will study the effectiveness of the tax breaks. They set what your standards are, what the goals you're trying to achieve, and then examine those goals on an ongoing basis. UL economics professor Anthony Greco feels evaluations should be done annually. As similar to old law, the exemptions may be outdated and fruitless. As an economist, Greco would prefer fair competition between all, but he does feel some exemptions are positive. If it does allow businesses to come in and encourage them to hire people and spend more money, then there's going to be more income generated in the state. The committee has a deadline of February 1st, 2013 to present their findings and suggest them to the legislature next session. Live in the studio for TV Tonight Witness News, I'm Doug McDermott. Last week, 